I just wanted to see what the new technology felt like. Jesus, I might have killed somebody in one of these. I watch Uncle Neely in the pregame show all the time. I appreciate it, bro. Never miss it. Yeah, I appreciate and it. And Wednesday with Warren, uh, Warren South. Woo, I love Wednesday with Warren. Right on. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Say, man. Folsom Field. <laughs> on a Wednesday. Guess who home? Yeah, we Guess home. Guess who back home? We Guess home. who back home? Guess who went to Florida, got down, dodged the hurricane, yeah. had a bye week. There's another one coming another day. I pray for all my people down there. You. you know, make sure you make sure you button that thing down to get the hell away from that water, cause it's going to go high. Absolutely. And when we get finished with that, we got a real good party for you at Folsom Field at 10 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, baby. Do not be nowhere but here at Folsom Field or in front of your TV, cause it's going down. Man, you started off exactly right, Sal. That's why you're the Hall of Famer. By the time people watching this, because this is Wednesday, we standing here on the Wednesday. Yeah. When y'all watching this around 6 p.m., that <laughs> storm is going to be hitting that, that that peninsula of Florida. So shout out and prayers to everybody in the path of Nelson. Everybody still no, regrouping. Milton. 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 Milton no, is that. Yeah, cute. Milton. Cute. And then uh, Helene went through earlier, yeah. which is why we've been off for two weeks. Well, we, the schedule let us off. Yeah, 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 because Helene came through, so we left early. Yeah, we left early. And, and then we had a bye week. Then we were there for four days trying to get a game together against one of, you know, yeah. one of the better teams that I've covered. So we saw we missed y'all last Wednesday. I'm going to blame it on the hurricane. Even I, though absolutely. I'm a cat five myself. The cat four kind of, you know, throwed us off. So it, it we really back. Did. It really did. So we got we to catch them up. Kind of catch up. Catch them up. So we go to Florida. Oh. We go in to go to UCF. They they said that we were fourteen down. Yeah, Vegas is sucking this year. I yeah. like it though. I like it. Keep keep making yeah. us underdogs. That that kind of put a little fuel on the fire. Programmatically and then defense wise, what was your takeaway from that game? Well, me, D Lou and Dancy had expressed to our front four mm -hmm. that the game was gonna be on us. This team here wanted to run the ball and the quarterback sent a message through TC. They was homeboys. Tell me he gonna run somebody over. So yeah. he didn't do nothing but just wake up a hornet's nest that was already ready to go. Yeah. And I just told the boys, let's, let we can eliminate a lot that they can do to us. And we went out and played. Let me, we went let, out and let, me, let me do this for you and the people at home. Uh -huh. That's five sacks. That's five sacks. I told them they come in bunches. Yeah, I said they came in I bunches. Said, I said, fellas, we just keep doing what we're doing. They're coming bunches yeah. for us. And once we get it rolling. It's like cotton candy. You never could get enough. It just keeps spinning. Just spin that thing around, yeah. boy. You make yeah. a big old cotton candy. Right. So, you know, when you talk about that, you, that this, hey, guys, hang in there. It's going to come in bunches. Some frustrations those first games because you, you were right there. I could have got it. Maybe I had one and the ref threw a flag. Just a whole bunch of stuff that compounded us not really getting sacks. But like you said, Coach, when they came, they came. No, no. It's You have to mount a rush. And we were doing it like long wolves in the beginning. And mm -hmm. we got in there and we looked at the tape and said, we got to do this as a four-man unit. And if we do it as a four-man unit, we'll take him down. So what he that was our That was our yeah, first, yeah, that yeah, was our first yeah, go yeah, at it right yeah, there. I got to hear now. That was our gotta, first go at it. Because he talked about pack mentality. <laughs> and sometimes you might get a dog that want to go out there on his own. Be like, no, you got to stay with the pack. Yeah, because when, when, when you're a pack of wild dogs, all of them are bad and they think they can get it done. We must get it done together. Together, and that's the only because yeah. we already lined up. It's five on four. Yeah. We already down the man. Yeah. So we must work together as a like unit. That. And this was the first four quarter, sixty minute game that we put together. Now building off of that, had a bye week. You guys get rested up, healed up. No, I just got recharged. Recharged. <laughs> yeah. No, that's just, important. I just got recharged, baby, because you don't you don't get healthier as the season goes on. <laughs> Trust me, because it's don't. something. Oh man, something hurting somewhere. It's a marathon. We, yeah. Are, yeah. it's the difference between being hurt and being injured. Mm -hmm. We just hurting right now. Yeah, you gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, that, anything you want in life, 
you got to hurt. You got to work for. One thing I love about this schedule, Coach, we got two bye weeks in the Big 12. We just came off one. We got three games in a row, then we get another one. So before we get to that next bye week, we're right here in Folsom because Kansas State is coming to town. Did you, did you, did you just tell me I got three bye week, then three? Yeah, you got, we, got, we got three more games and another bye week. See, that's, that's yeah. a beautiful thing. Somebody, yeah. somebody done set this thing up the right way. Yeah. Because, boy, if I get recharged again. Woo! For that November stretch. November and December is what they remember. Mm. Because we got three in we got three in October, three in November, and and we're hey, Big November championship. November and December is what they remember. With, with this team that's coming in here, at Kansas State, once again, it's almost like that UCF game. You got another quarterback that don't mind toting that thing. Oh yeah. And, and so and if 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 it was on <laughs> your crew in Florida, it looks like it's going to be on your crew again here. That's that's what we're expressing this week. But the difference this week is we got a cat at Kansas State. They got some wheels. We we gonna have to actually be on our game. Two hundred fifty pound, that's power. Yeah. When a little scatter back, a little cat quarterback, they yeah. can get out on their heads and do some special things. Yeah. We got to be on our high alert. We got to be exactly where we're supposed to be. Take the proper angle, contain him, make him come back to our help. So, it's a bigger task. It's one of the things I love about this year. Uh, you know, this is a completely different team when you look at the starters. Maybe only three on on each unit that was that was here last year. But one thing that you guys, you, D. Lou, and Dancy, y'all are all in the same room now. Listen, you have to coach, live, sleep, eat, everything as a pack. Yeah. And I, you, you know what I showed you in that lunch room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to live together because I got to know what my brother will do when he gets hot, heated, we're down, we're ahead, whatever the situation, I can look in your eye. Yeah. See, like Wednesday with Warren, we already know we're going to slap that thing, we're going to get it down, we're going to do what we do. That's the kind of crazy that I want with my dear. I had a brother in the parking lot stop me and did that. I'm I said, telling you, Wednesday I'm Warren. telling you, yeah. baby, it's just yeah. what it is because once you do it and you become known for it, don't disappoint them. Mm. Don't disappoint them. It's your signature. We gonna hunt like a pack. So, so you took you just took me somewhere. We we're about to be six games in with six to go. What's the identity of this defensive line now? We still ain't got it yet. Mm. We still ain't got it yet. Last two weeks ago was our first four quarter game we played. Okay. So now we are gonna see what we do after a bye and a real opponent coming in here. Yeah. But that's two and zero in the conference. Yeah. Same record as us. Yeah. A quarterback that can do some special things. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Because a 250 pound quarterback ain't no challenge for a defensive line that wants to hunt like a pack. You saw what we did to that down yeah. in Florida. We yeah. spanked that around. Yeah. Spanked it. Oh, but yeah. One absolutely. That, one that can do some silly stuff, you got to be. Because, see, man. five sacks is one thing. When you go back and watch the film and look at the pressures, <laughs> the hurries, the, the, we the, mounted the touching them. We mounted you know? it. We mounted yeah. it. That's what you do. You mount a rush. So now when you go to getting him, I ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah. That's what we're going for. So this Saturday. <laughs> Think Fox is covering it, eight fifteen p.m. Mountain. It ain't Espen. I don't think. I don't think this. I don't think this one Espen. I, I think, think this. It might be. Well, it's on TV. We know oh, that. Oh, it's definitely on that. We don't the team in the oh, nation. No, 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 every That's week. A, every week on every that week. TV. They don't, they don't play. They know what a show is. It's eight fifteen p.m. Mountain. I know it. that. Don't miss it. Ten fifteen Eastern. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. But don't miss this. Sap, give us the keys from your defense to get out here to win in Folsom Field. Penetration in the backfield by my defensive line getting the quarterback off the spot because mm -hmm. once we got him off the spot, now he's less accurate. Mm -hmm. And the ability to contain him when he goes wild. We can't let him out on the edge. Yeah. And that's all on us. Got to extend that line of scrimmage, contain and keep him in No, there. we got to get it up high like yeah. a nice little well. Like, okay. you know, like you got a dam, it gets up high, yeah. keep all the water inside. Yeah, keep him in And there. now you're back inside with yeah. all my dogs. And have him looking at you instead of downfield. No, no, we want him off the spot because once you're off that spot, now you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's moving. It's yeah, like, you're like, now okay. We're going to plaster on the back yeah. end and we're going to A lot of front. folks are sleeping. I'm not taking nothing away from our secondary. I'm going to talk about football in general. A lot of people sleep on how much the D line creates interceptions. Listen, the front and the back end are tied in the string. Yeah. You got no pressure on the quarterback, back end can't cover. Mm. You ain't doing, you got great pressure up front, you can step in front of things like Travis Hunter and pick that thing yeah. up because yeah. he ain't got that kind and of And then time. you can get what they call a coverage sack. Like he ain't got nothing to go to. Listen, you get it all, baby. It work, The front and the back end work hand in hand. You know where else you get it all? You get it all on Wednesdays. Yes. Wednesdays with Warren, the Hall of Famer Warren Sapp, your boy Uncle Neely. We here at Folsom Field. We're going to see y'all Saturday. And we Kansas work, State comes and We work hand in hand real good too. <laughs> I watch Uncle Neely in the pregame show all the time. I appreciate it, bro. Never miss it. Yeah, I appreciate and it. And Wednesday with Warren, uh, Warren Sapp. Woo, I love Wednesday with Warren. Right on. <laughs> <laughs>